Hello and welcome to Scott Grows an Avocado Tree, something which causes stress for, I dare say, all people who keep plants or a garden is the question, how do I keep my plants alive while I'm away? In today's video, I'm going to be sharing how I didn't let any of my plants die while I was away for two weeks in the middle of the Australian summer. I'm going to be splitting this video up into two halves. The first half will be looking at how I kept the plants in my outdoor garden alive, and the second half will be focusing on my indoor plants. Now, I might sound a little bit like a madman at some times, but my goal is to uh, set up a system which works, it's not stressful, and it's pretty low maintenance for all parties involved. And if the system works, it works. Let's start outside. The Australian summers are hot, many days reaching above 40 degrees Celsius, oftentimes with wind, and this just dries out soil. The soil in containers is especially susceptible to this, which most of my garden is because we're renting, and so I really needed a strategy to dealing with it, otherwise, my plants that are in containers after two weeks of hot temperatures would just perish. My wife and I have got some pets, some fish and a couple of lovely cats who need to be looked after while we're away. So we typically get a house sitter to come and actually stay at our house while we're away to look over things. Now I could get them to hand water everything and I have done that in the past, but just because of the nature of it, it would take 20 to 30 minutes to water almost 100 containers and it really is quite uh, labor intensive and I didn't want to put my house sitter through that, uh, especially because I've done that in the past and just because it's such a time consuming task and you need to know what you're doing, um, it's very easy to lose plants. So to get around that, I have set up a system which is automated. I've set up an automatic uh, irrigation system. It, pretty well everything in my garden is now on a drip line. So it's got a little dripper which will deliver an even amount of water while it's being watered. And I've even set this system up on a timer so that it comes on at the same same time each day I can adjust that timer so that it's every day half a day every six hours every four days I've got it set up during the middle of summer so that it runs early every morning for 10 minutes that gives the plant the, the plants the water that they need to survive the heat and to do really well now some of the plants in my garden are not on this system because they don't need that much water my avocado trees for example and as, as I've discussed before really don't do well with that much water and so I did ask my house sitter to water them just once while we're away to make sure that they were okay and the plants that are in my greenhouse although avocado seeds I asked him to hand water every couple of days and that's really only a two or three minute job so I didn't feel too bad about asking my house sitter to do that now let's head back inside and have a chat about my indoor plants my indoor plants are a different kind of case though I can't set up an irrigation system for all of my indoor plants around the different parts of the house and I didn't want to set up a continuous watering system like upside down bottles or string or any of the other systems that you might see for a number of reasons partly because they don't like continuous water so I needed a different system and I needed help from my house sitter for this one. There are a few things that I did to simplify this task for my house sitter out of courtesy. I needed to give simple instructions. I told my house sitter exactly when I'd like my plants to be watered. There are a number of plants that I water weekly and I told my house sitter when would be the best time to water those uh, on the weekend when I would usually do it myself. And the plants that I water less frequently than weekly, I just left. So I watered them before I left and after. And knowing what my plants need is really important for this. There ended up only being a dozen or so plants that required watering indoors while we were away. So to make it easy to identify which plants they were, I just got some sticky notes like this and I either stuck them to the pot or if they were having a hard time sticking to the pot, I'd just slide them underneath. That way, my house sitter could just do a walk around and see which plants had a sticky and water those. Then there was the trickier case of my recovering avocado trees. I had a couple of avocado trees experience quite severe root rot, but I was able to rescue them, but they needed some more specialized watering care. I was watering the avocado trees every four to eight days, whenever the soil was 
dry and I was using my moisture meter to test that. If it was cooler weather, it'd be less frequent. If it was hotter weather, it would be more frequent. And it is very important that they are not overwatered because overwatering kills them because of the root rot. So for these very sensitive plants, I needed to take a little bit of extra care when explaining to my house sitter what they needed to do to keep them alive. So I actually showed him how to use my moisture meter and it is very simple and it is a quick task and so that's why I didn't feel uncomfortable getting them to do this. So I just showed him how to stick it in the soil, wait a minute and see if the plant soil was dry enough to water. Now this is telling me that this avocado tree here is ready to be watered and, it, and you can actually see the leaves getting a little bit droopy. So I just told him how to do that and the avocado trees continued to recover while I was away. And there we have it. To keep my outdoor garden alive I set up a comprehensive watering system which runs on a timer which is something I use anyway because it is far more water efficient because we don't get that, uh, don't lose that water due to evaporation or runoff. And it's more time efficient because I don't have to spend 20 to 30 minutes every morning watering everything by hand. And to keep my indoor plants alive, I set up a simple set of instructions and demonstrated to my house sitter exactly how to water the avocado trees which required a little bit more specialized care. Going away is a fantastic thing to do if you're able to do so and not having to worry about your plants or your garden is fantastic. I hope that some of the tips that I've shared today have been helpful and I'd love to hear what your tips for going away and looking after your plants are. I made a video as well about my recent time away, just some of the amazing scenery that I saw in New Zealand and I have a bit of a think about my own relationship with the environment. I'll leave a link at the end of this video and in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree.